Guys, welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. Today we are going to be doing a long needed update on all these phones that I've got over the eBay lots and stuff over time. So there is a lot. I'm just going to do them all in one video. I think it would be easier that way. Um, there's two of these ones. I don't remember which one is mine. I think this one is the one I just got. I think this one's mine. Um, there's a lot of phones. Some are kind of dirty. I haven't, I haven't cleaned any of these at all. So uh, I still need to do that. But we'll go ahead and kind of start off with probably go down up here on the top when you go my wide angle. My desk might be a mess, but I can see we got phones from here all the way to this end. If you can maybe see the last phone on that row. There we go. Kind of see them all in there. Um, we got two down here as well. So we'll start off with this end, go all the way down, and uh, we'll go through each phone that I've got, see what I know about them, and uh, start with this one. This is a LG um, track phone device. I think this one was in an eBay lot. Um, I have got some from a friend recently, so I can't exactly remember. Um, I know where some came from, where some didn't come from. It all just depends. This is a LG uh, 328BG. And it works. The battery's dead again, but it did work. I did have it turned on and everything. So there's that one. Pretty basic. Nothing special. Here's a Alcatel. Um, if I remember how the back came off of these ones. These ones are really... Uh, Something, I don't know, I really like them. Let's see. Does have a little indicator, that's a little water damage, but it still works just fine. It's a track phone device. I think it's the A205G-B. It works just fine, but I think the battery's dead in it as well. Naturally. Here is a Motorola... Um, I think I know it's a G series, but I'm not exactly sure. I was able to reset it. It works just fine. It's just cracked, but it is dead now. Here is a UMX. I think this was a um, a Cricut device when I turned it on. It should have some power left in it. There we go. I guess it might be dead. But I think it was a Cricut device, if I remember right. Can't be too sure on it. Here is a Kyocera S3150. This one is with Virgin Mobile. Um, don't have a battery or a back, but I was able to put another battery in it to test it. I think it was another Kyocera battery. I was able to put one in there. I was able to get it to turn on. I was able to go through the menu. It is unlocked and everything like that. Here is a Motorola G. I think this is the G1, G2, G3. I don't know. I used to have a G1, I think it was. It's been so long. Um, I think this one's dead again. These both Motorola's, they do turn on and they are unlocked, but they are pretty rough shape and they're very slow. I got these ones from a friend, these two Motorola's. Also got this cool um, Kyocera Echo. Um, it is the it's a Sprint device. It's an M ninety three hundred, and as you can see, it's a very unique phone. It does work. camera lens looks a little dirty let me see if I can wipe it off with microfiber real quick as soon as this turns on I'll let it boot up yeah the echo all right just one second that seems to be better but uh, here is the phone and this is a pretty cool, you could do it like this. 
You can push it over and then the screw to push down and uh, magnetically help hold itself into place. And then it's essentially a dual screen device, which is pretty cool. You can pull it apart and then you could either go back into this for like typing or something, you know, like video games in a way, or you can just fully twist it over. Um, it works just fine. No problems with it. It's actually in really decent shape as well. Got this one from a friend. Like I said, there'll be separate videos on all these phones as well, guys. Here is an LG. It's an Alltel device. I didn't have one of these before. I got this in that Alltel lot. It's the AX5000A. And it works just fine. There's also another phone I need to grab real quick that I'm thinking of. I need to bring it out here. Keep it in a you know, bubble wrap bag. As you can see, works just fine. I was able to uh, do all my stuff to it. My banner and all that. Here's our Motorola um, VE... I think it's four something, four sixty-five. It's hard to yeah, four sixty-five VE four sixty-five. Okay, I was right. This one works just fine. The battery is kind of iffy in it though, so um, it doesn't really hold the charge. So I have to get a battery for it. But there's that one. Here's an LG Rumor Touch. Um, these ones I had one that I got from Retrocoms, and the display didn't work. So I was able to um, swap the parts because the one that uh, this one originally had had a Virgin Mobile board in it. I'd prefer to have the Sprint one. So I went in and swapped the boards and now it's running the, uh, the Sprint board in it. As you see, works just fine. The back's a little rougher, but uh, other than that, it works just fine. It is a resistive touchscreen. Um, pretty decent. I do have the other one. It has a red back on it now, and the display still doesn't work. I kind of took it apart and noticed the ribbon cable um, was a little damaged, so that might have something to do with it. But as you can see, it works just fine. This power button's kind of iffy. There's that one. Here is a Samsung. SCH or SGH? Uh, SCH S7 738C. It does work. Um, it's in really good shape. I'll say the battery's a little bit bulged, but other than that, it's in really good shape. Um, the camera actually I just noticed has a couple dings around it, but the plastic or glass, whatever it is, isn't damaged, so that's always good. As you can see, works just fine. It's fully unlocked. There's no Google account or anything locked to it, so that's pretty cool. Here is an LG. It will say it when we boot it up. It's an LG. Uh, LG 900G back cover wasn't on all the way uh, works just fine pretty decent shape as well um, it's a track phone device here is a phone I've been wanting to get for a while and I got this one from a friend there are some things glued on the back cover that I took off, but it's the Samsung Axel, I think it is, is the nickname of it. It's the SCHR311, and if the battery sold to charge, it should turn on because I wasn't messing around with this one for a while. It's in really good shape. The charging port door did fall off, but I do have it. Um, that's another thing I hate about older phones is this little um, 
rubber mechanisms that hold them in there just fall apart and then the charging port falls off but as it works just fine tony's pc's on the banner i do that to all my phones so i know if my video gets taken here is a, another sanyo scp 2700 um also known as a juno if i remember right um it works just fine this is off a um, cellular carrier here in Kansas called Next Tech Wireless. So it doesn't really have a splash screen like the Sprint or the Boost Mobile ones do. But uh, kind of generic one. I do like the black though. It works just fine as well as you see. Back over on this side we have the Samsung A560. That I bought off of eBay in the three phone lots. Let me grab my other A560 and a couple of these real quick. I know there's other things I would need to grab. I'm trying to do all the phones in this video so I don't forget. Makes it easier. So here's my old A560. I went ahead and took the LCD out of this good one and I swapped it over to mine. I think I put the little caps on right there as you can see, but. Um, I also changed out the volume buttons, the um, headphone cover, and this little release for the battery. I'm actually working on activating this phone right now. So if I get it activated and it works, I will do a video on it. So here is the one that I bought for parts. So this one's going to have a bad LCD now. As you can see, I haven't really done much testing on it. I don't think if I remember right. I think I just... Uh, swap the board and that was basically it or the uh, LCD and that was basically it as you can see it works just fine though we got service now let's go and pull the battery out I would say it's in decent shape um, it's a little rougher than mine so that's why I went in and fixed up mine like I said, I'm trying to activate it and if I do I will post the number um, on YouTube and I will let you guys text this phone I do have an unlimited text and calling plan that I'm trying to get activated but as you see the Sprint service uh, we get full service here but it runs off a roaming tower so whenever I try to activate it it's trying to activate on a, a third party I should say so that's what I'm fighting with right now if I get it activated I'll let you guys know like I said I'll let y'all call me on that phone or text me and I'll try to respond on it I think it'd be kind of cool to have it set up here is the Kyocera uh, KX5, if I remember right. I just read a couple comments on this phone. I couldn't remember what the model number was. Yeah, KX5. I don't have a charger for it, but I have my little um, battery terminal connector thingy that you can adjust for different batteries. And I was able to put it in there, and I was able to get the battery to take some charge. I thought it was on US Cellular, turns out it is on Cricut, it is a Cricut device. Um, it works just fine. I will be able to do a video on this one as well. I'm changing up the um, the way I'm going to start doing my videos. Instead of doing my ringtone videos separate from my um, tour videos, I'm just going to do them all together. So it will be a longer video, I think it would be easier to uh, go through. So. Instead of doing them separately. So there's that one working just fine. Here is the Motorola Devour. Which um, I was able to charge the battery with my little thingy. But I still cannot get the phone to display any signs of power. If I remember right. Or this was the one that showed life on the keypad. But not the rest of the phone. I can't remember. It's been a while since I messed with it. I will see if I can get it to turn on. If not, I'll just let it sit here. But I'm pretty sure um, there's something. Like basically either the flex cable is damaged or the uh, motherboard has no power. Sad because this phone's in really good shape. It looks really cool. Um, I like how the battery comes out on the side. I think that's really different, you know. Just a piece off. There we go. So that's how your battery would come out. Um, I think that's really cool. So I'm looking for another one. I might go and buy another one. Um, just because I really like this phone. I think it's pretty cool. If it was a 4G phone, I would actually put my SIM card in it. But it is not. It's a 3G device. 
Here is another Samsung device. It's a SGH T399N. I don't remember if I had a battery for this one or not. I don't think I did. But I will... It's Galaxy Lite. It's cracked, but it works just fine. Um, obviously needs a battery. Oops. Obviously needs a battery. Metro PCS device. I was thinking it was a straight talk actually, but it's a track phone. But no, it's a Metro PCS device, which I think it runs on T-Mobile now because it's a GSM phone and they got bought out by T-Mobile. I think Metro PCS used to be a uh, a subsidiary of Sprint or something, if I remember right. And then Sprint recently just got bought out by T-Mobile. I will um, post a link on my channel for a guy I watch. It's um, SMT. He's a pretty cool guy. Basically gives you all the rundown on everything of the carriers. Um, he's a pretty cool guy. I'll go and post some of his videos um, or his links in the bottom. Here is a Samsung SGH. T429 um, slider device. I think I have one of these already. Um, this I got from a friend as well. I he works. He's going to say insert SIM card, but I want to buy a whole bunch of SIM cards so I can just start leaving all my SIM cards in these phones and make it so much easier. But um, this phone, actually, let's look at this one real quick. I forgot to put this one uh, up. It is a HTC Hero. Um, but it is running on Altel as a carrier. So it fits right in with the um, Altel phones. I do have the Sprint version as well. This one is in really good shape also like the Sprint one. I think this one actually has a little bit more wear on it in some areas. It does have a screen protector on it. But uh, I'll tell you this metal keypad piece down here has got a little bit more wear. This little piece up here has got some nicks and stuff. But it works just fine. Battery charged. Um, the battery is a little bulged out, but it does hold a charger for the most part. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to let this one boot up the rest of the way. We'll move on the next and come back to it because it's taking forever. Um, here is the LG AX. I think it's... Oh, I can't remember. The 300SW. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Here's this. And this is all booted up, as you can see. It's an Alltel device. I will be doing an update on all my phones. I just... Like I said, guys, it takes so long to make, and there's so much editing to go through to do them. That's why I haven't done them very often, but I have enough phones that I, I could essentially make a bigger update. So, this one works, but the battery um, does not hold a charge at all. This one I actually I've had for a while, just set over there. That's the one I took the uh, volume buttons and stuff off from my other one. Here is a phone that I don't have um, until now. It is a Samsung SCH A990. This is the phone before the Samsung flip shop. This is technically the first generation of it. Um, I bought this in a phone lot. You see it's got the little lens cover, which is pretty cool. Um, it does work. I see it does have the uh, tilting screen like the flip shot. Like I said, it's just the first generation of it. So it's a lot thicker, you know, a lot bulkier and everything like that. Um, but it does work, so it's kind of cool to have the collection. See, battery's almost dead on it as well. So all three of these... LG Lotuses work. One has water damage and is in really poor shape. This one's not that one. This one works just fine. Um, the hinge is a little, little iffy. It doesn't seem like it wants to hold its own weight compared to my purple one. 
Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's the way they are. I don't know. It just seems a little loose to me. Um, this black one, as you can see, the body's in pretty rough shape. It's cracked right there. Um, it's cracked up here. Um, it's got water damage, you see, inside the OK button. A lot of corrosion. I think it's probably dead. I haven't charged any of these three batteries. I was just swapping from the um, one off the purple one. So, don't know if these three batteries hold charges or not. I assume they do. This one works just fine. Um, no problems at all. This one I'll be keeping in my collection to go with the purple one. Um, I think I'm sending one of these to Retrocoms. Because she doesn't have one. So I'm going to send one of these to her. Probably going to be the uh, the next best one. And this other one I'll probably just keep around for parts or something. So there's those. Here's the LG UN. 280 if I remember right or no VN 280 uh, It works just fine. I got one of these from Retrocoms earlier in an unboxing and it was locked So here hers is that I got from her. Um, it is locked. And I can't actually bypass. It. I've tried so hard can't get past it So um, I need to get this in the lot. So I might just send this one back to her so she has it But yeah, this one's in really good shape. Works just fine. It's not locked or anything. Um, all I had to do is reset it. Let's see. I right, see wants me to activate it. Here is the Motorola. I haven't. I don't have one of these. I haven't really seen one of these till now. It's a T-Mobile device. It's the V188. It takes that really funky Motorola battery, and I don't actually. Haven't been able to find my other Motorola phones with that battery. Um, it's buried in my stack of phones. So I haven't been able to test it. Let me see if I got a battery over here laying around. Yeah, we can see if it turns on. I don't think I do. I have a whole bunch of batteries from phones I've taken out. I don't see that Pacific Motorola battery. I only had a couple of them because it's such a weird looking battery. So I will have to make a video on that later on. But as of right now, this one is untested. I'm assuming it works. The LCD looks good from like holding a flashlight up to it. I don't see any cracks or anything like that. But um, there's a scratch on the lens. And you see it says T-Mobile. So I'll have to finish testing it out. It's kind of rough shape, but we'll see. I'll set this one up here. Here is the Samsung Galaxy S4 that we received in that eBay lot, technically, that I bought. Um, cost me 10 bucks. I actually unboxed it separately because the other phones that he was supposed to send, which is actually this one, and I'll grab the other one that's over on my bed. I forgot to grab it. Um, and this one, and then the HTC One that I ordered. Um, he forgot to ship those two, so he did end up shipping those to me with no problem. Um, this one, I charged the battery. Um, I have another battery I've tried charging, and it shows no signs of life. It turned on for a split second, turned off, and I've never seen it come back on at all. So I'm assuming the board's bad, but I do like the uh, Arctic Blue. Let me go over and grab this HTC real quick. It works just fine. Well, I did put my Verizon, or actually I use US Mobile, but it's technically a Verizon SIM card. So, um, I didn't do an unboxing of this one if I remember right. I think it's dead. But it works just fine. Um, it's in really good shape. As you can see, it's got Beats Audio. I actually really like it. I thought about using it for a while, but I don't know. It's in really good shape. I don't know if I want to damage it. Um, here is the... UT Starcom device I got in that lot as well. CDM 105 SP, which I think SP stands for Sprint. Um, it works when it's plugged into power, but once you unplug the charger, it dies. So the battery is no good. But it's got a lot of dog hair on them. But it seems to work other than that. Here is. A Motorola Crazer K1 
K1M. This is actually the other one I had. Let me grab this one. This is the one I got in one of the lots, the singular version. Works just fine. There's no problems with it. I don't remember if I did a video update on there. I know I replaced the front glass on it with this one. As you see now, it's cracked. This is the one I also bought in the lot that has um, some kind of ribbon cable problem or something. As you see, it's really dirty. I'm probably going to do a drop test on it. I do got a set of drop test ones over here we're going to go over in a second too. So as you can see, works just fine. Singular device. It's pretty cool. This one and the other LG I have. Let me see if I can find it because actually I'm missing that one real quick. Guys, I was looking for that other phone. It's right here in front of my face naturally, but... These two phones I got from a person on YouTube. She's seen my videos and she had some personal pictures on this phone. And she asked if I could get them off for her. And I successfully was able to get them off. This phone doesn't have Bluetooth, doesn't have a micro SD card slot. It's really kind of hard, but I've done it before, so I already knew the process on it. Since my mom had one of these, it was the same way. Um, works just fine. She gave me the data cable and everything with it. I don't remember if I've reset this one yet. I don't think so. But it works just fine. She also gave me this uh, LG. I don't remember what actually model this one is. LG GW370. And it does work. All I had to do was charge it. And it fired right up with no problems. It is a slider phone with QWERTY keyboard. Here is another device. I'm going to set that aside real quick. Let me grab the battery for this one. I see this one says insert SIM card. Oh, you see it's got the little cool light. Like I said, these will have separate videos. If I haven't already done a video on these phones, uh, they will have a separate video. So here is my LG Versa. This is the one I got from a friend. And it is running that same third-party um, phone carrier here in Kansas. It's called Next Tech Wireless. This phone does work. I haven't charged, like I said, I haven't really charged very many of these batteries yet. I've kind of just been swapping between them to see which one works and which ones don't work. And then I'll have to clean them all up and all that. So as you can see, it works just fine. It is locked though, but I'm pretty sure I could get past the uh, lock screen. I haven't really messed with it a lot. If I remember, actually, I think this one had a, um, the touchscreen wasn't responsive, actually. Let me try it again, because I can't remember, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, here is a LG MV Touch with some dog hair on it. It works just fine. Already have, like, two of these already, so, yeah, this one's in really good shape as well. It's a resisted touchscreen as well. Same with the uh, LG Versa. Yeah, that's the one that didn't have the uh, responsive touchscreen. That's what it was. So, I'm pretty sure I get past the passcode with no problem, but the phone not having no touch response is kind of a problem. Because, you know, these phones are so cheap. Before I replace the screen, I'll just go buy another one. So, there's mine back together. Here is that LG Envy Touch. As you can see, it works just fine. I went ahead and fully reset it. So, there's that one. Here is the Samsung A850, I think it is. Whoops. Yeah, A850. A850. Um, this one, uh, this is the battery from the phone that I had. That was in really poor shape. As you can see, the battery's really bulged out. Uh, it doesn't hold the charge at all, but the phone does work just fine with no problems. I just need to get another battery for it. Here is a Samsung SCHU420. Um, I already have two of these. This one is locked 
and it does have a cracked lens but I'm going to unlock it another trick is I don't unlock the other one I had and then I'm going to be sending this one to uh, retro columns because uh, they're kind of hard to find and I figured uh, she can have this one so she has one we also have this Motorola Q I got from a friend as you can see um, I had to remove all the soft touch, soft touch, uh, soft touch plastic because it was all falling apart. The phone was extremely sticky. It was a really a mess. So I was able to clean it up, and I mean it looks pretty good. I prefer to have the soft touch plastic because it just looks better. But um, this is going to show a lot of scratches. But as you can see, the frame is cracked right there, but it doesn't affect it. it. Still works just fine with no problems. The keypad's in really good shape. I can see not a lot of the buttons are wore off on some of these, I know, but these ones are in really good shape. Here is a LG L38C. Uh, the C stands for CDMA, if I remember right. So this is a non sim card compatible device I guys got the straight talk logo over here what's well, going to be covered up with this but um this phone does work if i remember right or i don't think i've even tested it actually i'm thinking of the one i had i don't think i've tested this one yet i'm pretty sure it works if not the resistive touch is probably gonna be better so i have a cracked lcd as in after do i did do a drop test on these and uh, i was really surprised that it didn't crack turns out these displays are plastic, so um, that explains why it didn't crack. But other than that, pretty good on the drop test. Here's a Samsung SCHR 451C. That's another uh, CDMA device. This one is with, oh, I can't remember. This one is the one that had a uh, bad LCD. The LCD does not work on it. Um, the keypad lights up. This LCD is just completely white, it doesn't show anything, but does show signs of power so I'll try to repair this one here is that Motorola Photon that I got um, running Sprint um, after going through it I did notice some of this stuff um, confidential Motorola restricted property not for resale and I'm going to cover up the uh, IMEI number actually I guess I don't know maybe maybe not uh, actually it says engineering use only not for resale so that's pretty crazy um it does work just fine i uh, just need to get another battery for it and it will be good to go here is a, another sprint scp maybe or no, sch 3500 i already have one of these but i can't test them because i have no uh, charger form that works so i need to buy one of them so i can test it and then here is a sprint s device once again, have no charger for it. Doesn't really give me a the model number. Maybe it's 032C, maybe. Or uh, maybe touch points the model number. I don't know. But I don't have a charger for it, so I can't test it. I see it's a really weird looking charger. Um, but it'd be kind of cool to see if I can get this one to work. There's like a little slider for the on and off button. That's pretty cool. So. Now we're going to move on to a couple other phones I got. Um, these ones I got from a friend as well. This is a ZTE something. Oh no, there it is. A Z. Maybe. 963VL. There we go. Um, it works, but the screen is cracked. If I remember right, the LCD is bad. I see it kind of turns on, but I'm pretty sure the LCD is bad. And it is Google locked. Here's another ZTE. This one's in really bad shape. Um, really nasty. I think it's been stored for a long time. It's a Z936L. Um, the frame is a little damaged on one of these sides. I can't remember which side it was. Yeah, right here by the volume buttons. Let's see right there. You can see um, the frame is kind of buckled. This thing is really flimsy. Like I don't feel very confident in this. I think it's about the same size as my Note. Yeah, it's about the same size as my Note 10, and I do not feel confident in this thing at all. 
it's all plastic so I may do a drop test on it but it's already cracked so I don't know exactly what we'll do with that one here are the drop test devices I'll push these um, the also the Motorola Razer V3A in the Alltel box um, worked just fine with no problems and the HTC Shadow that was brand new in the box uh, works just fine with no problems all I had to do was charge it and it was good to go so I'll have a video on the unboxing of both of those devices along with the uh, Samsung SCHU420 with the Alta box. I have an unboxing coming up on that one as well. So here is the Motorola Crazer K1. This is the one we took the uh, front lens off of. <sighs> and put on my other one. I took my medicine guys so I'm kind of tired but I figured I want to make this video. Um, this one works besides the LCD um, it's a consumer cellular device I found out so I'm probably just going to drop test it um, not really anything worth fixing for me I don't really like consumer cellular devices so probably drop test that one here is a Motorola Rocker Z6M this one is with Metro PCS um, as bad shape as in water damage and everything um, buttons are extremely corroded it does work Turns on just fine, the LCD is good and everything, but it has a passcode. And I've not been able to pass, bypass passcodes on Motorola devices. They're pretty secure, so I'm just going to draw a test. I already have um, a box full of these phones. Um, like These are like my favorite ones. Let me show you how many um, rockers I have. So here's the best shape one. It's the... Uh, all tell device with a really cool uh, looking back and then these are also all of them I have Z6 M's uh, Z6 the uh, Z3 the base of all the rocker devices so I do have a lot of these so I'm not too worried about losing that one uh, it kind of sucks because it's a Metro PCS device I don't have one of them um, in this but oh, I'm pretty sure I can find one pretty cheap I don't think that phone's going to be worth going through the trouble to get it to work anyways so drop test that one here is the blackberry bold 9630 it works um, it's in really rough shape I already have one that's in really good shape so I'm going to drop test this one and then here is a ZTE I got from a friend as well Z819L and it turns on but the LCD is no good so I'll go and drop test it crack it and maybe we'll order a new um, LCD glass assembly and repair it if we might be able to get to work if I can even find one that's reasonably priced because you know ZTE phones are kind of cheap but it is what it is figured I'll go and show it to you these are going to be ones I'm going to be drop testing this weekend um, as long as the weather's good down here I will go ahead and do some drop tests. So I'm going to pull this battery out. So there's that one. There's the four drop test phones. That goes over all the phones that I have gotten over the few couple weeks. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Don't think I'm missing out. And if I am missing out one, let me know in the comments because... I haven't watched my unboxing video, so if there's one missing, you guys will know about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for the next one.